Okay, question number 20, the last one. Can you tell I'm ready to be done? It says the coefficient of static friction between the 3.3 kilogram crate and the 35 degree incline of the figure below is 0.295. What minimum force must be applied to the crate perpendicular to the incline to prevent the crate from sliding down the incline? All right. So here we go. We have a crate. We have a, an incline. It's 35 degrees. We're going to call it 35 or theta. That's either one's fine. We have a crate that weighs 3.3 kilograms that has gravity acting on it in such a way as 3.3 times 9.8, and of um, we all, it, it's it's got a a force acting on it like this, um, so this force is also a, a component of gravity. So we can we can say that that this being theta, so this being 35 degrees, we can say that the the x component in this direction is equal to sine uh, um, is equal to the this times the sine of 35 so let's figure out what that is so I punched in the calculator and it gives me my x1 component is equal to 18.55 now here's the thing there's only two um, x forces acting on this there's the the gravity force and there's the friction force holding it back and so since it's not moving we know that the the net force equals zero and so since net force equals zero x1 is going to equal x2 so x2 is the the um, the force of static friction and so we know that the force of static friction equals 18.55 so the force of static friction equals 18.55 but we also know that the force of static friction equals um, the normal force times the um, coefficient of static friction and so the normal force in our case is going to come from two y forces so we have this unknown value f so y1 is the unknown value f and y2 is the force from gravity which we can calculate um, the downward so the cosine so it's it's 3.3 times 9.8 times the cosine of 35 degrees which is 26.5 okay so we have our normal force here is y1 plus y2 um, 26.5 plus f so n equals 26.5 plus f and so if we if we throw that into our equation so 26.5 plus f and that's not plus f times our coefficient it's got to equal 18.55. Well, we know what our coefficient is. It tells us in the problem that it's 0 0.295. So we can just divide 18.5 by that, that amount. 18.55 divided by 0 0.295 is 62.8. Eight, and that is equal to 26.5 plus f so we subtract over our 26.5 and we get f equals 36.38 newtons 36.38 newtons will hold that box in place